Taj Juchter, Corvette chief engineer and our right seat companion for part of our first drive of the Grand Sport, puts the new car in a slightly different perspective. This is big business for us, he says. The last Grand Sport, of the C6 generation, kept the Bowling Green plant running. It was our highest volume model. Sports car buyers are more fickle than most. Sales are hot when a new model arrives, as they certainly have been for the C7 Stingray, but then they typically go tumbling off a cliff after a few years. With its long history, the Corvette hasn't necessarily suffered as much as newcomers in this cycle of boom and bust because enough Americans have grown up with the unwavering desire to someday buy a Corvette, not the newest sports car, but a Corvette specifically. Still, adding a hot, updated version a couple of years into a product's life is never a bad idea. For whatever the Grand Sport once was, it is now a full-fledged model within the Corvette lineup. And like the C6 version of the GS, as with a number of Porsche 911 variations and almost all Taco Bell menu items, the new car is an assemblage of known parts. This particular concoction starts with the Stingray's drivetrain, the naturally aspirated LT1 6.2-liter V8, but fitted as standard here with the dual-mode exhaust system that's optional on the base Stingray, plus the dry sump arrangement of the Z51 version.